resolve, as a member of Girls College, to become a citizen of the highest honesty and integrity. I will show respect for others and their property. I shall strive for success in all my studies and to achieve my full potential in physical, mental, spiritual and moral activities. For more than 35 years, Girls College has been providing a caring, safe and secure Christian school environment for girls with the necessary wide range of curriculum and co-curriculum opportunities to enable each student of whatever aptitude or ability to strive for and reach their full potential. We would like to welcome you to Girls College. Girls College is in Bulawayo and is a very unique school. It's unique in a lot of ways. We have about 500 girls only. And the reason being we believe passionately in girls only education. We believe that girls from the age of 13 to 16 go through a lot of hormonal changes. And it's really important that as a staff, we know how to deal with these changes and to make sure that every single girl that comes through our institute achieves their full potential. Our vision is to mould a unique woman for the modern world. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is I want one of my girls to be able to walk into a room when she's left Girls College and for people to stop and say, wow, who is she? They'll know nothing about your academic background, your economical background, your social background, your sporting powers, but they'll just know that you've got something and it's this inner confidence that we're looking for in a girl. Albert Einstein once said, everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Hence our very broad curriculum that includes academics, cultural and sporting activities. I'm Chelsea Watson and I stand proudly before you all today as the head girl of Girls College for 2017. Throughout my years at the college, I've been an active participant in the swimming team, the athletics team, the water polo team, the cross country team and the hockey team. I've also represented Zimbabwe in hockey and water polo for the past five years. That is not the end of it. Girls College has also given me the opportunity to be in the Interact Club as well as the Toastmasters Society. At Girls College, if you are unaware of the hidden talents that you have, this is where you should come because we are able to show you exactly the potential that you have. In this world, I believe that there are two people, the people which go to Girls College and the people that wish they went to Girls College. The choice is yours. I am. Two of the most powerful words for what you do with them shapes reality. Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Nkomo and I stand before you today as a Deputy Head Girl for Girls College. One thing that I think every student deserves to have is pride in their school. And Pride at Girls College stands for perseverance, respect, individuality, dignity and enthusiasm. Together with my head girl Chelsea Watson and our amazing prefect body, we have decided that this year we're bringing back the spirit in the school. Before you become a leader, success is about growing yourself. But when you become a leader, success is about growing others. So at Girls College, we mould you to become the unique woman that you're meant to be. The world is progressing and it needs people to think progressively and with innovation. What other place to be to explore your creativity other than Girls College? Academics at Girls College. We cater for all the ability groups we have. Forms 1 and 2, they do 11 subjects and we uh, promote them or demote them according to their abilities so that when they get to Form 3, they are doing the subjects they are good at. They have a choice when they get to Form 3. The top classes will do the physical science, the biology, while the other classes will do physical science. But every student is going to do a practical subject. The unique practical subject we offer is child development. And it has proved to be very popular with most of the girls. At all level, our pass rate is uh, quite impressive. We've got graphs here to show how it looks like 
for the past five years. The same applies to the upper sixes and lower sixes. At lower six, we cater for those who don't get five O levels by give, giving them the business admin route. And if they wish to have the academic route, they can write their O levels, complete O levels, have five O levels, and then come to do the academics. Good morning. I'm Sheila Williams. I'm head of the Girls College Sports Department. I've been at Girls College since 2008. Girls College is a very big, proud sporting school. We encourage our girls to play as many sports as possible. We like to expose their talents. We like to make sure they are competing against the best in the country. Currently, we are the national swimming champions. For the last four or five years, we've either been finishing first or second in the national gala. We are very proud of our swimmers. We had five girls competing for Zimbabwe at the latest Kana Gala, where some record times were set. We, we like to send our girls overseas on scholarships, mostly our hockey girls and our tennis girls um, and our squash girls go overseas on scholarships. Unfortunately for a school as as big as Girls College, in order to, to showcase the talent of our girls, we have to take them up to Harare. Hello, my name is Ms. Chenjezwa. Uh, welcome to Girls College. Here at Girls College, we do a lot of community service. I'm the patron of Interact Club for the past nine years. We've gone far and wide, Matopos, and around in our local area, Isaiah Children's Home. And with the Girls College girl leaves like a holistic student. She knows charity work, she knows that there are people better than her and to humble herself. Tu peux parler si tu veux étudier. Spanish. Tu peux parler encore portugais. And we've done so much as staff as well. We've taken up some homes just as the staff members. And every form class, every term does some community service. And we do believe charity begins at home. We've done stuff in the school and we'll spread our wings outside. We have a unique hostel setup which allows us to enroll students from not only Zimbabwe but the world over. Currently, one third of our students are boarders and they are housed in our comfortable hostels which are designed to promote the learning process. We believe our girls should not feel at home but be at home. Our vision as a school is to mold a unique woman for the modern world. In pursuit of this, we encourage our girls to be responsible and accountable. We believe that punishment should not be painful but corrective. We take our girls through what we call academic or power working rep. And rep stands for restorative afternoon practices. The academic rep involves pupils sitting down, writing work that they've missed on under supervision. Whereas power walking involves walking in the sports field to make up for the exercise that they would have missed because of an activity, afternoon activity that they have not participated in. Um, it's Girls College Kitchen. We proudly prepare nourishing food balanced diet and we also cater for all um, nutritional needs of the children 
we've got uh, gluten-free diet, diabetic diet, diets for our um, our patients. We have a, a, a rest nutritionist who ensures that all the meals that the girls eat are balanced, and also that um, all the dietary requirements, special dietary requirements, are taken care of. Academy of Music and their teachers come and teach here at Girls College. The children are able to study violin, viola, flute, recorder, vocals, piano, drums, in fact most instruments that are welcome in the orchestra and that they might enjoy playing. Our hope is constant in thee.